There are a few things I love about these Fulton & Mork scents that could benefit your liquid fragrances, but upon testing, there are a few things I don't enjoy. I have three scents for you today, tobacco dominant, floral and spicy, and incense cardamom. Fulton & Mork kindly sent me these three clones to review, however I promise to give you only my honest thoughts. First we'll start with the unique presentation. They come in these pocket sized metal cases with the brand logo on the front and the cologne's name on the back. The lids are pretty interesting as they turn up and then you have access to the cologne here and then they turn back down and click into place. Very secure and very discreet. I'll start with our best seller first, Cale Ocho. It has prominent notes of rum, tobacco, and sandalwood. On their website they do have a complete note breakdown but it's unnecessary because these are the only three notes I can really smell for the entirety of the fragrance. So how does Caleoche smell? So it is tobacco dominant with a very subtle rum sweetness, and then there is a spicy cord that really just isn't invigorating, but only lasts for the first hour before it gets washed over by the warmth of sandalwood. And then this is what you get for the rest of the wear, just rum, tobacco, and warm sandalwood. The quality of the notes here is actually excellent, and none of these notes ever come across as synthetic. So the performance is um, above average for a solid cologne, six to eight hours on the skin every time I've worn it, and the projection is uh, decent, one foot for one hour before receding, but during that period, it leaves a really nice dense scent trail that pushes out multiple feet um, up to about the three to four hour mark, and then it becomes more of a skin scent these solid colognes, and just solid colognes in general, are going to leave a lot better of an ambiance as you move around than they are going to do um, leave a scent bubble as you're just sitting down or in a stationary position. So how about seasons and occasions? So with these denser rum, sandalwood, and tobacco accords, it is mostly fall and winter wear, but you can also wear this for all seasons because it is so subtle that it's not going to overwhelm anyone. And then for occasions, all. It has sophistication enough for um, formal occasions, but it also is low-key that you could wear at the office. I could actually see how this could pick up a ton of compliments because the rum, sandalwood, and tobacco combination is very alluring. It dawned on me when I was testing this, but this could actually be really helpful um, for liquid fragrances, and I'll talk about that in a little bit. The second fragrance is Palmento. The first time I applied this, I instantly thought it smelled like our Moth Club de Nui Intense Man EDT's opening. There are no lemon or pineapple notes in here, but the magnolia and pink pepper combination are very bright and awakening, like Club de Nui Intense Man. For most of the wear, you'll smell these dominant floral spices. After the first hour, there are subtle warm woods, but not to the degree of floral spices. The performance is five to six hours in the skin, with again one foot projection for the first hour, then only an ambiance around you as you walk around for the rest of the wear. This is warmer weather focused and could be worn for all occasions. The third fragrance is Devil's Garden. The opening is mostly smoky and earthy, but never dirty incense and vetiver. There is a spicy cardamom note in the background that is the least prevalent of the three. Of all the fragrances reviewed today, this is the most subtle and sophisticated it has a very alluring aroma that makes you want to just lean in and go, what is that? Because it's just so intriguing. Now the longevity is six hours on the skin, but the projection is never strong initially. It's just a uh, ambiance around you as you move around like the other fragrances were for the end of the wear. Now seasons and occasions, it is mostly geared towards cooler weather because of the scent profile, but like the other fragrances, you can wear this for all seasons and all occasions because it is so subtle. Now the one thing I will say about this fragrance is I can see this being an absolute showstopper for formal occasions. There are a few things I didn't like, but the pros outweighed the cons. This is for solid fragrances in general. I don't like how you can't necessarily determine how much to put on. For example, you can apply three sprays of Dior Sauvage and you know that three sprays work but here you can't get that same consistency. The second thing is the lid. I've opened the Cali Ocho bottle about 30 times to test it and use it, and every time I open and close it, it becomes harder to close. Often I have to put a lot of force into it just to get it to close, and this is even the right way. So I do like the design of these cases, but they do sometimes malfunction. Now let's talk about some of the benefits. If you have razor burn or if your skin is easily irritated by spray clones, 
These solid colognes are a much safer and more pleasant way to apply a fragrance that are much nicer on your skin. The second is that they're very discreet, so if you're at the office or on a date, running to the bathroom and re reapplying without anybody noticing is super easy. I can't imagine you'd be able to hide a 100 milliliter bottle of spray cologne, take it to the bathroom, and apply it without anybody noticing. And lastly, a common hack to increase liquid cologne's performance is applying Vaseline and then spraying on top of it. Here you can get a solid fragrance that complements your fragrance and then makes your spray cologne last longer. An example of this would be taking a tobacco dominant solid cologne like Cale Ocho, applying it on your skin and then spraying Dolce & Gabbana the one EDP over it. These both have complementable tobacco notes and this will help out Dolce & Gabbana's poor performance. So I don't think I'll become a solid cologne collector anytime soon, but I definitely think it's worth having a few. If you want to learn more about Fulton and Work or their link to the website, everything is going to be in the description. Thanks for listening. See you next time.